What's up guys? Just like the title says, we're going to be taking this control arm here and making it look like this control arm here. This guy is already extended. It's got the little brace kit slash dress up kit on there and it is looking awesome. I've got my bushing in there and it is ready for paint. So without further ado, let's uh, make this control arm nice and pretty. So the first thing that I have to do is pop these bushings in here. The reason why I'm putting the bushings in first before I cut is because my little jig here is made to have the bushing inside of it. So I'm going to get these guys in. If you're using the energy suspension bushings, there is a certain way that they go. The guy without the little lip here goes against this one with the lip and then the guy with the lip will sit over that little flange or little lip whatever you want to call it lots of lips going on here but you guys get to point there just make sure you follow the directions i'm going to grease this guy up and simply use my little vise here push that guy in there grease up the sleeve slide that in there and then we will be ready to uh, mount that guy on the jig and then put the jig in the saw cut that guy in half and uh, get to it just like that Put a little bit of grease on my sleeve and slip that guy in. And there we have it guys, just like that. We have the sleeve all the way in there. I can just take a uh, socket uh, extension, tap that in a little bit more. Uh, now the second thing is, if you're doing this to your control arms, you have to take off the uh, little bump stop there that's there. Just cut those two welds off and then uh, we'll place this guy in the jig and go from there. Alrighty guys, so we've got my control arm tacked up on its little jig. I'm gonna set it down here in the saw and get this guy cut. Guys up. With our pieces all cleaned up, I have the magnet holding my little extension in place. I'm going to go ahead and get that tacked up and do the same thing for the rest of the control arm. Just pop it in there, hold it up with the magnet, tack it, and then uh, once everything is tacked up, I'll go ahead and pull it off the jig, and then uh, we'll weld it up, and then we'll move on with our uh, brace plates here. Got to clean these guys up still, put a small little bevel on them, and then they will be ready to rock and roll from there. We can hang these guys up and paint them and then turn our attention to the knuckles. I squared away with that, it's back to sanding the dreaded part of this uh, project here. I've laid down a few more filler swipes. Got a swipe right here, nice and pretty how I wanted it. Same thing down in here. Got another swipe right here. And then I laid down this guy, it needs to be cleaned up some more. So. Got a lot of sanding ahead of us, and that's just so boring and, you know, a blast. Psych. So in good fashion, I forgot to hit the record button. Or actually, I missed the record button. I hit the autofocus button, so that was my fault. We're tacked up, though. So I'm going to go ahead and knock it off the jig, and then uh, we'll weld it the rest of the way up and uh, get to it with the brace plates. So as you guys can see, I have my two control arms set out. I have the one that we are working on right now, laying next to 
the one that I've already done to make sure that I've just got you know them kind of uh, mirroring each other I know no one's ever gonna see it but it's the little things that count mm. you know it's those types of things so all I'm doing is going through just tacking a few spots and then once they're tacked up I'm gonna go through with my hammer and uh, bend out what I need to bend out and go from there so I apologize if I get in the way there he is Man in the All right, dudes, it's all cleaned up there. The backside is stitched on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my lovely hammer and give it a few taps, if my tripod will work correctly. There we go. Give me one second here. All right, so I've got this front corner tacked. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this back corner. And this front section here that's lifted up, I'm just gonna tap it, bend it in, and then we'll go ahead and weld this all the way up. What up? For it. Folded it down too. Let's go ahead and put the tack weld on it. We're all tacked up there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my welding hood on and we'll burn this in. I'm going to be welding all of this out and then this stuff gets stitch welded because if I ever get in a crash or something, I'd rather this fail. This is just beauty plating. This is the actual brace plate that I care about for the actual extension. So here we go. There we have it, guys. We are said and done. Both arms are all extended. Got the beauty plates, the brace plate. Now it is time for paint. And then from there, once it's painted, get the new ball joints in, and then it'll be onto our knuckles. Moving on to modifying the knuckles now. You guys can see I've got her sitting in my little jig. And what I do here is uh, basically I move this pickup point back three quarters of an inch. I've got my little jig that holds the uh, end of the knuckle here uh, at that factory Ackerman angle. The reason why I retain that angle there is because I like to be able to street drive my car. A lot of guys like to just cut it off here and cut it off and then do a uh, drop knuckle style or just bring this guy all the way back, which yes, you'll get crazy angle from it, but it won't be uh, very friendly to drive on the road. And honestly, it's just a little sketchy. You know, you bump the steering wheel just a little bit and the thing wants to turn, you know, 15, 16 degrees with just the slightest little uh, steering wheel input. So that is uh, the, the reason why I do that. And uh, one once it just gets cut up, slides back with the bevels, I go in and uh, do you know my quick pass and then I fill her up and then I like to do brace plates inside of here, just a small little plate that kind of sits inside and uh, just one, it looks cool, it uh, you know makes the uh, knuckle look a little more beefy and it also braces up where I've gone ahead and cut, welded and gone through all that stuff. Being that this is a, a, a cast material, uh, it would be uh, suggested that you preheat it before welding. Uh, you know, just put a little bit of heat in there so that way you know you're getting good penetration. I'm gonna be TIG welding this stuff. I typically do uh, MIG welding on it, but uh, I you know, prefer to uh, just be able to control my heat here on the TIG torch and my pedal. Just kinda do my thing and uh, I'll slowly build up that small bevel and we'll be set to go. So, without further ado, let me shut up and we'll dive into uh, cutting some stuff up and welding. So after you make your cut, you'll see that this guy is just kind of free. You obviously remove your little jam nut here. This guy will move and this isn't really that big of a deal. What the big deal is, is the angle uh, that's uh, down here that your jig will be positioned at. Uh, what I've done after I cut it is I go ahead, remove my jam nut, I pull this off, and I do my little bevels. As you guys can see, I put two bevels on that. Slide that guy back in. Same thing on my knuckle. Got a bevel here, beveled on the uh, outer corner here. You guys can see. Same thing on this, this side, and then on the bottom side. They've got bevels. So, it's not tedious, but you just got to be very, very careful when you loosen up your lock nut here on the bottom of your jig and you slide this forward. Uh, not to uh, take away uh, from the uh, 
angle that this guy's resting on because if you move it to the left or move it to the right when you loosen that nut up it'll kind of throw you off as you guys can see i have a spare knuckle in the background if you guys do uh, jack up your uh, little jig or mess something up and you get worried about it you can just go ahead and take a normal knuckle set it back on there tighten everything up and then put your uh, little guy back on there and that will that way it'll set the jig back to this ackerman angle and then uh, you can just simply slide it back in and tack up so that's what we're going to do. Let me get my uh, TIG welder all set up and uh, we'll start burning this in. It's going to be the same process for the other side, so I'll show you guys the bracing plate. I've already like filmed all this stuff on my YouTube channel, but I just wanted to do something that was a little more in detail and just kind of show you guys my little method to the madness and obviously keep my uploads going for the uh, new build. So with that being said, get that guy uh, set up. Then I'm going to put another coat of paint on the lower control arms. As you guys can see, I went ahead and put my first coat of black paint on there. They have been primed. Uh, this is just kind of a uh, tacky coat, nothing crazy. I will uh, let this dry and then go ahead and put another coat on there. But let's get set up to do some welding, folks. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tack this guy up real quick. So we've got our tacks in there and now I'm going to go ahead and do the sides, tack those up, unbolt it from the jig, tack the bottom and then make my root pass. I want to tack it all the way around that way I don't have any warping issues, I don't want it to walk out of place or anything silly. So. pass in there and we are tacked up all the way around we go ahead and set up some of my filler wire here and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and lay down some material get that welded up and we'll move on to the next one I'll knock the next one out off camera and then we will uh, set up the brace plate for it I'll do one brace plate on camera and then we'll just finish them out and wrap this video up all right, folks, we got our uh, pop back in the jig here. Got some of my filler wire prepped up. I'm gonna go ahead and burn this guy in. And get this one over with. Alrighty folks, we have one all welded up there. She is just about good to go. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then we will uh, move on to the other knuckle hanging out down in here. Got that guy, gonna pop it on my jig and my jig works both ways. Once I loosen up the nut on the bottom, I can just spin this around and set the other knuckle on there, tighten it back up and it'll be in its fixed position. I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did to that guy. Repeat the whole process and then we'll work on the brace plates and then we'll be done with the knuckles. Well, as you guys can see, the knuckles have been modified. They are ready to rock and roll for the brace plates here. I've got this guy traced out. Basically what I do is just kind of set it down on my sheet of steel here, trace it out, give me the rough template. And then uh, once it's cut out, I go back with the flap disc, shape it up and make sure it fits nice and snug inside of here. It's not necessary. It adds a little bit of structural integrity to the knuckle itself and it looks cool. It doesn't uh, interfere with the angle or anything like that. So it's just something that I do is my personal touch. And uh, I'm not really gonna film that process. I'll film me welding them in, but you guys kind of understand it and it's straightforward. And then along with that, once I get that done, um, the front end will be squared away. And I know I talked about the uh, ball joints for the LCAs. I'm not going to film my installation on those. I'm just gonna get those guys popped in and uh, have basically the whole front end ready to rock and roll. I ordered in my uh, my tie rods, inner and outers. I think it was Monday or Tuesday, or they came in Monday and Tuesday. So one of those days they're there waiting on me. So I gotta go pick those up and the front end will be just about complete. It'll be waiting on me to do uh, coilovers and then throwing everything together. I've got the actual steering rack right here it's all cleaned up 
and that's ready to rock and roll. I've got brand new bushings for that, so after I do these brace plates and we get uh, my inner and outer tie rods, should be squared away. So I'll check in with you guys as soon as I finish this up and then we'll close out this video. We are all welded in there. Got the top and the bottom sides done on both knuckles. These guys aren't a die or need or anything like that. It's just beauty plates or brace plates. Just something that I uh, like to throw in and it's just my little touch. It's really, really, really not necessary. You guys have been doing this stuff for 15, 20 years and there's all kinds of method to the madness on relocating your knuckles and extending control arms and all that good stuff. Just wanted to bring my content to you guys and show you, you know, along with my build. So that's about all that I have uh, for today. Like I said, not gonna do the ball joints, not gonna mess with anything else in this video. Uh, hopefully by the time I check in with you next time the engine bay will be like 75 80 percent of the way done i'm going to uh, turn the camera off and dive into this stuff here because it's super boring it's not really worth filming the air compressors are loud and they're annoying and hopefully by the time that uh, i have you guys checking back into the next upload we will be prepping this thing to go into primer the whole front end as far as like the subframe lower control arms inner and outers blah 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 blah. hopefully that will all be together i've got the bushings and i got all the good jazz so it's just a matter of me diving in on this bay getting all this filler work handled and then once i feel uh, happy enough and i have my buddy jack kind of look over it and be like yep this will look good when we put a couple of coats of primer on it and then uh, we'll do a little bit of wet sanding wherever we need. Not gonna go crazy because this is supposed to be seat time car and I just want to get to driving. I'm tired of staring at my CA over there. I've got a wiring harness that I gotta dress up on it. I gotta get a clutch, I gotta get coilovers and then we will be so close to finishing. So, all right, I can ramble, I can keep talking. I know I'm gonna bore you guys. I will see you in the next upload. If you guys are new to the channel, please go back, check out all our playlists. We have webisodes, Cummins builds, XJ builds, Subarus, Evos. We got all kinds of stuff on the channel. So be sure to stick around and uh, check that stuff out. I'd really appreciate it. My returning subscribers, you guys know that I love you. Thank you for uh, coming back through, checking out a video. Please, please, please swing through and hit the store, grab some merch. I'm trying to work on some uh, t-shirts and hoodies and stuff. So uh, little by little, we're putting some time back into the doghouse and we'll get uh, squared away yet again. So thank you guys. I will see you in the next upload. Later.